and it is singing. <laughs> it ain't bad. Well, it ain't good. You took the words right out of my mouth. Well, how about that roast beef? Don't you think it's cooked yet? Roast beef? What roast beef? Oh, the roast beef. I'd almost forgotten about that. <laughs> Mister, when I cook one of these demonstration meals, it stays cooked. Yeah. Boy, I like roast beef. You're going to love this. And why? Because it's cooked in one of our bulletproof aluminum wear pans. Voila. <laughs> Feast your eyes on this. <laughs> That nightgown fooled me. Clever people eat Chinese. <laughs> Are you fellas the caterers? Caterers? No, sir. We represent the Never Smut Aluminum Wear Company. Right. Don't want none. Now listen, stranger. This aluminum wear is dust proof, moth proof, and bulletproof. Oh. Why, you can cook cabbages, beans, fish, ham side by side, and there'll be no smells in any part of the house. Right? Right. It sounds good, but smells don't bother me. So I noticed. <laughs> right? Right. You fellas will have to go now. Wow. I'm busy. Well, my wife's giving a luncheon. Well, a luncheon? Why, mister, that's right up our street, right? Right. Come on, Roger. Come on. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, what are you doing by busting into my kitchen like this? That's what I've been trying to tell him for years. Never bust into a man's kitchen, Roger. Yeah, 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 yeah. What does this mean? Mister, are you lucky? We're going to cook and serve your luncheon free of charge. Won't cost you a penny. You mean you took the luncheon for nothing? That's my proposition, and if this be treason, make the most of it. <laughs> I know, but my wife ordered a couple of caterers for this job. Phone the caterers and tell them you've changed your mind. What do you care? You're saving money, ain't you? Right? Right. Right. <laughs> Roger, we'll cook them up a luncheon like they've never seen before. <laughs> Well, first, we'll get our equipment. And whatever you do, don't rush. Take your time, please. Should be a door there. Well. Hello. This is Eddie Taylor talking. You can cancel those caterers my wife ordered. We've changed our minds. Fifty bucks saved. Right, Ambrose? <laughs> Will you ever learn to be quiet? Remember, we're on a hospital street. Besides, you know how noises irk me. Certain noises, I mean. But enough of this nonsense. Quit kicking the pan around. <laughs> do you fellas think you can do this job right? Stop right there, Ming Toy. That's an insult. Listen, you. I've cooked things other chefs wouldn't dare to cook. Right? Right. I mean, no. Now shut up, please. Let's see. Have we everything we need? The turkey, the salad, the fish. Everything we need. So outside, outside. Well, all you got to do is cook. It's in the bag. It's in the bag. Oh, look, eggs. As fine a gang of looking eggs as I've ever seen. <laughs> My favorite weapon. John Blodgett, no. Yeah, Ben's for the dressing. Give me that egg, Blodgett. Mister, did you know you can squeeze an egg with a steady pressure and can't break it? It's absolutely a fact. You can't do it. No matter how hard you press. It's against all laws of gravity and poultry. I never knew that. It's a fact. Let me try it. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, he did it. He's one in a million. Congratulations. He ain't to be laughed at. Exactly. Yeah. Here, wipe your hands on that. There you are. Hey, what's that going to be, the salad? Hors d'oeuvre. <laughs> You know, I've lost my confidence in eggs. What's going on here? Uh, why, these men are the caterers, honey. Hello, honey, how are you? Hey, yo, that's my wife. Oh, pardon me, I thought her name was honey. <laughs> no, her name is Jenny. Hello, Jen, just leave everything to us. Now, remember, I want this lesson to be a big success. It's a success with me already. 
something to buy just for always remember. Lady, they'll never forget it. Oh, they know their business, all right. <laughs> uh, oh, no! no! Don't worry, I won't. <laughs> hey, Jen, get a load of this. From the old world. When I holler, I'll lay up, you catch. I'll lay up! <laughs> he never misses. Well, I, I hope everything will be all right. All right, why, well, it's going to be perfect. But you better get out of here. The kitchen is no place for a woman. Outside, please. Scat. Yeah. Blodgett, how's that dressing coming along? You'd be surprised. <laughs> I expect to be. Now, first, we'll stuff the turkey. Ah, a light heavyweight. Why, well, that turkey's chicken breasted, but aren't we all? Uh, we must be sanitary with this, you know. I guess I'll go and get dressed. Oh, no, you don't. You stay here and help. Grab the south end of that turkey while I stuff the dressing in. You got him? When I stuff a turkey, it stays stuffed. Right. I used to be a taxidermist. I use the one over one system. Season it an up a bit. It's a roomy old bird. She certainly can take it, but I'm the guy that can give it. Hey, no trick. Oh, there it is. Hey, mister. You don't know what a temptation this is. Yeah? Hey, ain't that turkey stopped yet? I'll see. No resonance. Hey, we're not making a bit of progress around here. You know my arm feels like it's gone to sleep. So, Mr. Fu Manchu, holding out on me, eh? A dressing smuggler. Hey, cut that out. That's... Hey, what are you... Now look what you've done. You've ruined my gown. Oh, cut, cut. Never mind that Mother Hubbard. It made you look effeminate anyway. Hey, Blodgett, light the oven. Right. Roger, give me a hand with this turkey. Right. Did you light the oven? Not quite. Partner, you wouldn't mind lighting the oven for us, would you? Sure. Here's the matches. Thanks. Give me that pan, Blodge. Coming up with the pan. Ah! Hey. Who's done that? Who's done that? Who's done that? You'll have to take that up with the gas company. And please cut out the kidding. What are you kicking about? That happens to us every day. Turkey. Come on, Blodgett. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh, but you can't disappoint me, Belinda. You simply must come. The caters are preparing a lovely turkey for luncheon. Boys, either the turkey's too big or the oven's too small. I'll have to amputate. Hey, I gotta eat that. You and me both. Hey, be careful now, will you? All right, I gotta cut him down to oven size. Certainly. Back of the ropes, everybody. Why don't you look what you're doing? Why don't you get back of the ropes? <laughs> hey, you're ruining the turkey. I gotta get it in the oven, don't I? Certainly. I know, but what is my wife gonna say? After it's cooked, I'll throw it all up together again. She'll never know the difference. The gravy, Blodgett. There you are. That certainly looks good. That's fine, Blodgett. A little more. That's just right. How's that? That's well. <laughs> That's fine. Yum, yum. Oh, no. Oh, yes. I'm going to eat those myself. <laughs> I'll put this in the oven myself to see that it's done right. Out of my way, you guys. Oh, 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 oh. Look out. Oh, 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 the tide's coming in. This is irksome. You put it in the oven, Blodgett. Oh, dear. I'll never be able to serve dinner in these. I can see that. You know, this has hurt my dignity just as much as it has your kitchen. I guess I'll go up and get dressed. Well, wait a second and I'll go with you. What for? What for? I haven't got any pants. You don't mind lending me a pair of pants, do you, neighbor? Oh, come on. We've got to be sociable, you know. <laughs> oh! Join the ladies. Eddie, is that you? You hide in there and I'll bring down the pan. Okay. Oh, you're a sight. What happened? 
Oh, I was just helping the caterers. Well, hurry up and get dressed. The guests are arriving. Yes, dear. Hello, Jen, you want to fake a little bait? What are you doing in the living room? Get out in the kitchen where you belong. Jen, you don't know what you're asking of me. Get out! I can't get out. Why not? Well, if you must know the truth, that's why. Oh, oh this is horrible. Here, hide behind this and get out in the kitchen and stay there. I think I go home. How do you do? How are you? Oh, what a beautiful rug. I think it flatters me a little, don't you? Gives me a rugged appearance. Ha <laughs> ha, there's a nifty. Is it a beluga fan or a sarook? Well, I don't know. Uh, I would say it's a no-pants coverall. Ooh. Oh, no fans cover all. Oh, very rare. Yes, and quite drafty, too. How have you been? Uh, oh. oh, it has a gorgeous sheen. Lady, you ain't seen anything yet. <laughs> hey, please, no tricks there, Charlie. Is it tufted in the back? Tufted? I'll look. Yes, it's pretty tufted in the back. And I suppose it's hand tied. Well, I wouldn't up. know. Hey, hey, hey. Please, madam, do you think men are mice? <gasps> So why don't you put it on the floor where I can see it better? All right, you're just complicating things, though. But anything to oblige. Hey, Chen, call me at 8 o'clock. Does it look oriental? Well, the light here doesn't do it justice. I'll take it to the window. Hey, now, wait! Oh, hey. my Please. goodness! Oh! Well, of all things! Most peculiar, I guess. And he's a magician, too! Where you been, you fiend? Give me those pants. Eddie, those caterers are simply disgraceful. Oh, I only hope the luncheon will be all right. Oh, don't worry, dear. They know their onions. Get that duck out of here. How's the pants? A little short in the legs. Nifty, but never gaudy. <laughs> How are we going to cook this sardine? Looks like a fish to me. Let's try it. Too big to fry. Maybe we better bake him. Swell idea. You get some milk, I'll get some flour, and we'll make a batter. Right. Gastronomically speaking, Blodgett, if there's one thing that I like, it's a fish. First, that aluminum wire. It's treacherous stuff. You'll be safe in there, Ambrose. Hey! Uh, don't ever sneak up behind a chef when he's working. What do you want? Come on and get that salad ready. Oh, the salad? Oh, yeah. And the wife wanted it served daintily. I remember. Hey! Well, I like lots of it on mine. Well, you want a lot of it? Yeah. Why didn't you say so? Ah! Hey! Hey! He got me! He got me! Ah! Oh! Oh! Oh, murder, you fat Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The buzzer! That's my wife. Well, go in and tell the buzzer that lunch will be a little late. All right, but hurry! How about the turkey? Turkey? What turkey? Oh, the turkey! I'd almost forgotten about that. It ought to be done by now. Well, Blodgett, we can't serve that. It's got to go the way of all fish. Well, Blodgett, I've got to cook something. Well, don't look at me. What's that? Sounds like a duck. A duck? Who's in there? It is a duck. Hooray, the situation is saved and by a duck. Quit cracking. He's got a bell around his neck. I've heard of a bell cow, but it's the first time I've ever heard of a bell duck. Grab that cleaver and follow me. Where are you going? Sounds like Ambrose is in trouble. Ambrose is all right. Now you sit down. All right. Password, Blodgett. That duck looks a little small to pass for a turkey. We'll soon fix that. If you'll pardon me, I'll see what's delaying the luncheon. Don't bother him, honey. It'll be ready in a minute. 
You know, you can't hurry a good chef. Ah. There's nothing like a little fresh air for a duck. <laughs> That's what I call inflation. <laughs> Quick, get it in the oven. There's not a moment to be lost. Give her more gas, Roger. This is a rush job. I'll answer it, dear. Hello, Dolan. Hi, Abby. Some of your neighbors just called in, said there was a riot going on here. Oh, no. My wife has just thrown a little luncheon. Oh, everything under control? Sure. Hey, I got a fiddle of subs in the kitchen. Why don't you go around and help yourself? Don't care if I do. And while they're eating the duck, we'll demonstrate our aluminum ware. Follow me, Blodgett. Hey! Have you been waiting long? Everybody hungry? Right off the fire. Mm, it looks lovely. No partiality, Blodgett. Give the boss a smell, too. Does it please you, Miss Hill? Is it tender? Tender and juicy. <laughs> and I'll test it. Uh-oh. We're not going to have a lunch. We're going to have a blowout. Oh! This is your lucky day. He stuck on it. <laughs> Put that over on the serving table before it disappears entirely. How are you been? Never mind. <laughs> I still don't know what that bell is for. Well, cut her up. Eddie Ambrose. Yes, honey. He ain't in the room. Serve that, Blodgett. Never mind the port. Use your fingers. La -da 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 -da. Here you are, folks. Take the teeth into that, lady. No more orders. No more? Here you are, Blodging. Come on, there. And a little dressing. Yeah, heavy on the dressing. <laughs> there you are. There's a hot Wait a minute, little garnish. Oh. There you are. Go ahead. Here's the hunk for you, Chuggy. Well, give me one of those plates, Blodgett. Okay. Hey, you're not going to serve that to anybody, are you? Certainly. That's the part with the bell on it. That goes to the ball. Okay. I'll serve this myself. Should have forks here. Ah, oh, a tidbit for the master. Boy, does that look good. Are you asking me or telling me? Eddie Ambrose. Yes, honey. I think my duck is in the room. You think he is? I know he is. Maybe he's under the table. Don't be silly. He's on the table. No, he must be under the table. All right, I'll debate with you on that. Winner take all. Have you been playing with Ambrose? Ambrose? Who's Ambrose? My pet duck. Have we been playing with him? <laughs> and how? <laughs> you know, I'd kill a guy that harms my duck. Uh, look under the table. Roger. Duck. Ambrose, speak to me. Speak to me. Quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. 